Hey guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Pixar. I hope you guys are doing amazing. What the heck, man? I don't know either, Squishy. It's freaking... It's just every time I wave, man. <laughs> anyway. It just covers my eyes. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. And we are continuing from the last build that we were doing. We were shaping up this room. And I got way too deep into interior decorating. And the video was stretching way long. So this is going to be a completion of the room today, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. And let's get started. So I think we're going to go with the executive style uh, floors, guys. It's really, really elegant looking, in my opinion. Uh, I started playing around with them at different, um, I guess you could say, at different angles. Because, like, you can turn it around to make some funky stuff happen with the shapes. But it looks really good in this sort of pattern because it just looks like staggered wood the whole time. Um, in a hardwood fashion. They do have a couple different shapes that look excellent as well. But they're just kind of... Like, that one's a really, really nice floor plan. I do like that, and it's very shiny. Also, we have that, which looks pretty good when you put it together as well. But I don't think I want it here. That is... It looks kind of like a kitchen floor or a bathroom floor. I think it would look really good as that. So, right now, though, for the foyer or the foyer... <laughs> I don't know. I think it's pronounced either way, but um, let's see. We had it going just like that. Yep. All right. So another thing I want to play around is with the centerpiece. Now, once I get the floor done, that's when I'm going to be able to do the ceiling on the, the, the second level or, or whatever you call it. I have a little idea. I want to try to do like a rug and a table. And I think it's going to look pretty good. Kind of like a, uh, a little centerpiece to the room, so to speak. A focal point. So, let's see. We'll hammer these out. Could probably do them just a little bit faster, huh? And all of a sudden, I lost my mouse. There we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, that is the same way that it was, yeah? Yes. It kind of... <laughs> it looks weird at first when you, when you really try to put it together. You're like, wait, is that the correct way? And once I have it all down, I'll show you what it looks like. It just looks it looks good, man. It looks really good. Executive floors for the win. All right. We'll pull back and we'll just backspace. Look at that floor. Oh, it's gorgeous, man. It is beautiful. Okay. So now we need to do a centerpiece in the middle. What you looking at over there, Miso? <laughs> Not you, Squishy. Uh, so let's see. The... Let me just measure this out really quick. We got walls, so I'll just measure it out with walls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we could probably do something three. Let's see. One, two, I'll just mark the center. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, these are the two center tiles in the room. Got you. So if I were to work around that, let's just take... I got some fur rugs that I want to play around with. Rug. Um, oh, I bet you I didn't take them out of the DIY table. They are expensive. Good lord, these things take a lot of fiber. Uh, rug. No. Fur? I had them. Oh, there they are. Oh, my goodness. This because I was searching rug and not corporate. I was about to say, I know. I just didn't waste all those resources. Y'all, it's so stupid. Like, almost 100 fiber and fur a piece. It, it's borderline. So, you could do some cool things with the shapes of these things. If you hit Q, they go to, like, an angle like that. Or... Kind of like a um, a slope end. It's kind of hard to tell. That is actually kind of like a, a sloped end. So it's weird. So what I'd like to do is just do a rug like... Let's just do like this. 
Okay. And then we'll open it up like so. You can't pick these things up either. So if this doesn't look good, I'm kind of screwed. And we'll just put two more. It might even look good bigger. I wonder if we needed to do that. Yeah, that does look... That's how it's supposed to look. Okay. We have a fur rug in the middle of the floor. Okay. There's a bunch of different table options and stuff. But I'm going to play around with that. Uh, but first, I need to figure out what we're going to do with this. So... Let's go up one, boom, and up one, boom, and two this way. Okay, so that is the center on the ceiling. Now, what I kind of want to do is make an indent right here, okay? Uh, something a little bit different looking and one higher. So, what we probably, I think I'm going to go out one more wide. Okay. Yeah, that probably look that looks pretty good. It doesn't probably look good. I like <laughs> I like where this is going. Let me set down um, my torch again too because I know it's a little dark for you guys. Um, so up here, what I want to do is do just like a little I, I guess it's a ceiling feature or something, something that looks a little bit different. And there's a couple of um, a tries, I guess I could say. Let's see. Ceilings. A couple things that I want to try. So the Mediterranean is blue, and that's not going to do. There's the marble ceilings, which don't look half bad. Uh, and there is also um, Magic Academy ceilings. Now, Magic Academy, uh, let's... Um, oh, actually, we're going to have to place floor first. Or foundation. There we go. So we could just put a foundation like right in there. Maybe you can't put a foundation on a ceiling. Uh huh. Okay, not a problem. Let's just stack blocks. Um, or we can stack. Actually, let's just stack walls. We can stack walls. Uh, let's see. This is walls. Let's just stack the gray walls here. Uh, dark uh, walls. Okay. And one more up. And one more up. And now we can put a ceiling on top of that. So. Oh, naturally I did. The only one that wasn't. There we go. Okay, there's a ceiling on it now. So, this is one of the ceilings, okay? This is that was the marble ceiling. This is the Magic Academy ceiling. I think we have a couple different options. That's one of them. And this is also one of them. And I think yeah, it goes back to that. Uh there's no other options with this one and I don't know if I have dark wood ceilings. The dark wood ceilings. I do have dark wood ceilings. I don't have any made, I don't think, though. Ceilings. No, I do not. Let's just go make a couple of them, I suppose, so we can take a look at what this is all about. Uh, I think I'm going to need my silver. It's so dark over here. Um, metal. Okay. Ceiling. There we go. Uh, we'll just craft 25. There's some other type of ceilings too, but I'm trying to go with color. And we can always color this as well. But I don't think... Um, I think I'm just... I'm, I think I'm more after the texture than the colors right now. So let's see. All right. And... Uh, No Q option on that, too. All right, that's the middle. Actually, that looks pretty darn good. And it matches the walls. Holy cow, that might be it, you guys. That might just be it. Hmm. 
I like that Magic Academy middle. So that might that might be a good fit for that. Like just the middle blocks. Okay. And let's see. So coming in, you would see that. That looks like a good place for a light to me, <laughs> honestly. Uh, but let's just check out the Magic Academy stuff and see what it would look like, huh? Um, it's seven, right? Ah, I think that is absolutely gorgeous. I really do. I think that looks great, man. So just walking in, you see it like that. We almost, I almost want to come in by one more. No, it's it's plenty visible enough. So you walk into the room and boom. Oh yeah, man. It might look better if it was one deeper, but it's gonna throw the room off center. I'm gonna try it anyway. Because I think it's just gonna be better. We'll do Magic Academy right there. We need to eat something really quick. Okay. Magic Academy, Magic Academy, and then the dark again. So, it's not quite center anymore, but look at it. Oh, God. <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay. Um, that means we might have to add carpet, too. Okay, we need to look at some table design options, but I've never actually built any of these. So I'm gonna put some together and then we're gonna be right back. So I got a couple of table options. I'm not particularly thrilled about the fact that this is on center. I thought this was a two by two and it is not. It's it's actually just on center. So <laughs> the room is evenly spaced, so I can't do this. So I'm gonna have to use something that's too wide. And if you take a look at the dark wood table, it's a little bit mystical. It's got spice on the end, which is not elegant at all. That is not what we want. This is gorgeous looking, but I'm afraid that it's not going to fit the colors of the the theme. It's going to be very blue, I have a feeling. I'm going to go ahead and put it down anyway. Yeah, it's probably not going to do it. I like it, but not for that. It, let's just see if I could turn it white for for just in case. I do have my paint gun on me let me put all of it yeah not gonna happen not for this this might look good like on the side in the sides of the room or something like that but we are probably gonna do uh, this theme somewhere else so let's go ahead and pull that away I only got half my die back from that that's BS man die is a pain in the butt I don't need an industrial cooker I don't even know if it's if it's in Pixar but uh, let's see so the only other tables we have uh, besides the dark wood table or the regular tables. Or I could do something with foundations to make it look like that. But I think that this is a great design. Uh, let's see. Let's just put that in the middle. This actually does a really, really good job. I did make more tables so I can actually put them right next to one another. If I thought it looked better. It does look kind of big. It, that would probably be like a good dinner table option or something like that. But we're going to go ahead and pull them. They're only wooden thatch as well. Now let's see if we can paint this. Oh, yeah, we can. Two, three, four, five. So only the top of it we can paint. I mean, that's not that bad, though. Although, I don't know... If I actually want to paint it, I kind of want it brown, but you can't. I don't think you can paint the the. I don't think you could paint it any other color. Like um, I don't think they have brown. I moved my die table by the way because it was in the way. Brown. Yeah, there's no brown. There's no mud. There's only because there's no brown berries. I know that you can't use poop. <laughs> Dark, uh, green, gray, yellow, white. Purple, pink, orange, black, red, and green. Oh, another shade of green and blue. So, yeah, we can. So, it would just have to be either the white tabletop, which doesn't look so bad, or the regular one. And I think the regular one is probably 
what we want. So let me just demolish this. It's only thatch and wood, so it's not a big deal. We'll put the table back down, and that's it. We can have, like, maybe a torch and a little fruit basket on here. I'll worry about those details later because I know that the video is running a little bit long. We still need to do the walls, and they're probably going to be... A little bit of dark wood along with some accents of the Mediterranean walls. So I'm going to put those together and we'll follow up with uh, the, the rest of the design. Also, I changed the shape up of this because I thought it would look a little bit better. It conforms a little bit more to the shape of the room. And even though it's off center, it looks amazing. I could easily move this wall back by one more just to square it off, but I don't think it's necessary. I like the way it looks like this. So we'll keep moving in this direction. I'll play around with these walls and we'll be right back. So I'm trying a few details out for the decorations now that I got the walls up. I ended up putting this dark wood storage box in this corner and just a little vase right here. And I'm trying to do like a side feature for this and I'm not really sure what to do. There's a fruit basket or a fruit display stand uh, that I'm looking at. You're supposed to be able to put your fruit in here and you can put ice in it to keep it going as well. Which seems a little bit odd, but I'll take a look at it. It's enormous. Holy crap. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. This is definitely not what I was picturing. Um, but we could do it here. I mean, it would probably look good. Let's see. Oh my, no. Is it one of the... It doesn't fit right there. I wonder if I could take out this back wall, honestly, and then do it. No. There we go. Now that fits. And now we can do the walls again. We'll put them back, I guess I should say. Uh, let's see. Please go back. Yeah. Now, if you don't go back in the center, I'm going to be upset. Oh, no. It clips. It really does clip. It doesn't really show, though. Hmm, I can actually probably do a torch back here, and you'll never know the difference. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this into wall as well. Let's do a foundation here. I'll just use an executive, even though it's expensive. And then I'll place a few walls right here, just so nobody ever notices the difference. This will have to be... Oh, no, that's, that's good material. Okay, fine. Uh, now, let's see if I could do a torch. I don't think it's going to let me, but no. It basically exists in the same place. I could probably do a torch on the inside, but that's okay. Um, and possibly can I do my little lamp? Hmm. Will it fit the lamp back here? I don't think so. I think it takes up that spot. Nope. I can do it. Beautiful. All right. It does show a little bit of a fire, which is not a bad thing. And we'll just do walls now. We might be one short. Nope, it's good. So that's that's a nice centerpiece. Whatever that is. <laughs> that's a nice centerpiece. It's a little bit flamey, but hey. Um also I'm I'm really curious to see what it looks like when you fill this thing up with stuff. Let's go ahead and grab some ice and we'll just grab some tinto berries, yeah? Ice and tintos. And we'll take a look at it. And ice. Oh, 
ice is on the hot bar, actually. Or is it snow that it takes? Oh, it might be snow only. I think I have snow. Maybe not in here. Do I have any here? No. I know I have snow around here somewhere. I know it. Dirt. Maybe I'll put it in the dirt chest. Snow! Perfect. All right. Oh, it's right here. Or it just can't be done. What the heck, man? It does show fruit, though. I see the fruit in it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I might just take the fruit out altogether. Uh, to keep this thing stocked would be crazy, especially if it doesn't hold it. But that, yeah, that's a really, really cool design. Also, I have this uh, this sword display stand that I wanted to try out. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but it's probably going to be like on this wall. Oh, it's just a one. I like that. I like that a lot. We can actually put this... We can probably just put it off center right here. And I don't know if I have any swords to put on it. Let's see. Melee. I do have swords. Primitive iron, primitive iron, and apprentice iron. And I guess they're just going to fall in. Really cool. Really cool. It just holds them right there. Awesome. Now I just need one more feature. So I decided to pull the golden lamp out from behind there and add some real light to the room because it was starting to get dark. I ended up putting a volcanic storage box, which by the way has 200 slots. I like that. Is it 200 slots? No, it's 50 slots. It's 200 health. My bad. Um, but it looks pretty cool. It fits in with the theme of the room. I just ended up putting a little table here. And I found out that this doesn't really act like a table. <laughs> I, I don't know what's up with that. You got one job, table. One job. Uh, but other than that, it came out really good. I did some insets right here to go with some candles that I'm not really going to burn, but it's just for decor. I ended up running a junction box up above. We're not far from the generator at all. I'm still going to need to do some back access uh, behind this wall, probably to the left. This is going to be the entrance to the rest of the house. Um, but we've got a little bit of jars here and uh, the sword display stand. All in all, guys, I think it came out freaking amazing. Like, I love, love, love this room. This is, like, this is my element. I love interior design. This is what I did uh, in Minecraft so much towards the end. It's kind of what I evolved to. We're still missing quite a bit of blocks to be able to do some fun stuff. But think about it, man. When, when you have a limited choice, it does give you some creativity. And although some of the decor is exactly the same from room to room, it still gives it a nice little appeal, and I'm happy about it. But... I hope you guys enjoyed the room build and all of the other stuff. I think Squishy did. Isn't that right, Squishy? So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dapple that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.